Welcome everybody to the AAPA Quick Case for the Month. My name is Aaron Bright from the AAPA Pants Pantry Review and Hippo Education, and we're here to learn a little bit. The idea behind a quick case is to give you a case-based board style question and learn a little bit along the way. With me, I have my friends, John Maybe. Hi there. We have Jill Tanner and Kim Casson, our PA guest in the studio. Welcome. And we have Tom Wilson, who is not a medical provider and is not to be trusted. We are going to get to the case. Are you ready for the question? Everybody ready? Let's do it. All right, let's do the question. First question is, a 21-year-old woman is brought to the student health center by her friends because of fluttering in her chest and feeling faint while exercising during gymnastics class, a.k.a. tumbling if you're three years old, 15 minutes ago. So a quick onset. She states that she has been taking caffeine supplements at night to help her stay awake while studying. An EKG is shown which of the following is the correct interpretation of this EKG. So John, as always, we want to be careful that we are approaching this question correctly. So Absolutely. what are some of the things we're going to do for us? So for number one, we want to make sure everybody understands you read the vignette, there's really no red herrings there, right? We're not trying to trick you. Exactly, right. So the way these items are designed are to give you all the information that you need, basically right. to put together to you know, be able to answer the item. I like that. So the way to approach this also is to think, well, everything you need is in that vignette. And so one of the techniques that we often use is called cover the options. All right. So we're yes. not going to read the options until we come up with the answer ourselves. So in this case, pretty straightforward. We've got a visual stimulus, which I will click now, Tom, and it is an EKG. So let's go through the EKG. And I will ask our genius resident PA guests here. How do you approach this EKG? You kind of want to get your own strategy for approaching EKGs, but let's start with, is this fast or slow? It's fast. Yeah. That looks fast to me. Is it narrow or wide? That's narrow. That is narrow. You can say it with gusto. That is narrow. That's narrow. That thing is narrow. <laughs> is it regular or irregular? It's regular. It looks regular to me, right? We have to march it out really to be careful, but it looks pretty regular to me. And lastly, do you see P waves or no P waves? There are some P waves there. There are some P waves, right? We usually look in lead two, and you can see P waves kind of marching along. Lead two is a good place to see P waves. Mm -hmm. And so all that put together... What do, we, what, what, what do we think that is? Before we even look at the options, what are we thinking? Well, yeah. it's regular, it's narrow, and yep. it's fast. Yep. I'm going to say sinus tack. I like that, sinus tack. So let's take a look at these answers here. We've got, as answer choices, atrial fibrillation. Well, no, it's regular, and it's got P waves, right? Atrial flutter. We've it's got, got some P waves, can't P be waves. that. That would be regular, but it's got P waves. AV nodal reentry, we have P waves. Junctional tachycardia. We, we have, have P, P waves. waves. So sinus tachycardia is the answer, and that is going to be our choice. Let's check that answer. Let's scroll up here. Check answer, and we are correct. Yes. All right. What you want to do is uh, uh, make sure that you're aware that the test item riders really aren't looking for to trick you on these things, right? So what we're looking for is you, they're typically is not uh, an item where there's like some subtle finding that they're looking for, but they're, it's really straightforward. And I think the other thing to think about is when you uh, approach these items, you want to think about taking one minute per item. Right. So when you get an image like this, it's really the pathology is pretty obvious. You ought to just look at it and of course you either know it or you don't. But uh, in this particular case, it's kind of like slapping you in the face. So I right. think it's, a, yep. it's a, a, you know, something that you don't have to break down. So you don't want to get caught in that process of second guessing yourself. It is slapping you in the face with sinus rhythm. Would you agree with that? Slapping you. I would. Silly Slap. with sinus rhythm. I'm slapped. So that's a very good point. Don't skip any questions. There's no penalty for guessing. And pace yourself. Minute per question when you get into this thing. And eventually, we're all going to take those boards and be calm. And we're going to nail it. So go check out the AAPA Pants Pen Review. And that is the AAPA Quick Case for the month. Have a fantastic month. Goodbye. Goodbye, John. See ya. Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye, Goodbye, Goodbye Tom, with no microphone.